We know that the Greek word kurios can mean anything from God to sir. And when you get to the story of Peter and Cornelius in Acts 10, do we really think that Cornelius called the angel God? In Acts 10, we have the story of Peter and Cornelius. And the story begins uh, with Cornelius, a Roman centurion who was a God-fear and much respected by the Jewish people. And he has a vision when the angel of the Lord appears to him. And in verse 4, the translation says, this is Cornelius, staring at him, at the angel, and becoming afraid, he said, what is it, Lord? Now, that's the normal translation of Curios, curia here is in the vocative, but it's a very common translation of curios. The problem is, what does Lord mean? Well, if we were born 150 years ago, we would probably use the word Lord in the sense of sir, back when there were lords and ladies. But in the New Testament, the word Lord is so attached to the person of Jesus that when I hear Lord, I hear Jesus, I hear God. Kyrios is the Greek word that is used in the Septuagint to translate God's holy name, Yahweh, out of the story of the burning bush. And while Kyrios in normal Greek can also mean sir, it it generally means Lord as a translation of Yahweh, i.e. God. And that's why I was surprised to look at all the different translations Here's the NIV. What is it, Lord? There's no way that Cornelius was calling the angel God. But as you go through the different translations, you'll see what is it, Lord, in the NASB? What is it, Lord, in the ESV? Lord, CSB? Uh, What is it, Lord, NRSV? It's a very common in NET as well. It's not until you get to the NLT that they translate, what is it, sir? Certainly, that is what Cornelius meant. He used curios not as a reflection of the divine name of God, but as a term of politeness, a term of respect. I think translating curios as Lord here is a significant mistranslation because it doesn't reflect what Cornelius would have meant with the word that is used all the way through the New Testament of Jesus and his divinity. I have to say, the more I study translations, the more I am impressed with the word choice of the NLT. Now, I'm not a big natural language guy. I don't want to really study from a natural language translation, but the NLT consistently picks the right words, and I can respect that. All words have a semantic range, and curios extends anywhere from God to sir. And I think we have to be really careful at looking at the semantic range and picking just the right word.